Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Today I find a passage in Micah chapter 7, one of the minor prophets in the Old Testament. Minor not because the message is not major, but because the length of the message is shorter than some of the others in the Old Testament. In Micah chapter 7 verse 7, listen to the words, Therefore, I will look to the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. What an encouragement that passage of Scripture is. It begins with that word, therefore. And so that tells us that uh, what comes prior to this verse is very important. And so I want to read to you uh, Micah chapter 7, verses 1 through 6, and then we'll look again at our passage in verse 7. It says there, beginning in verse 1, Woe is me, for I am like those who gather summer fruits, like those who glean vintage grapes. There is no cluster to eat of the first ripe fruit which my soul desires. The faithful man has perished from the earth, and there is no one upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. Every man hunts his brother with a net, that they may successfully do evil with both hands. The prince asks for gifts, the judge seeks a bribe, and the great man utters his evil desire, so they scheme together. The best of them is like briar, the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of your watchman and your punishment comes, now shall be their perplexity. Do not trust in a friend, do not put your confidence in a companion. Guard the doors of your mouth from her who lies in your bosom. For son dishonors father, daughter rises against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own household. It refers to that which comes before when we talk about the idea that I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. What came before that? All human help has failed the prophet. It seemed as if everyone had turned their backs upon him, even in his own family, even in the midst of his closest friends and allies. They're nowhere to be found. They're nowhere to help him but instead they've turned against him. And so Micah tells us that when we feel like we have nobody else in the world, nobody who supports us, nobody who loves us, no one that we can turn to, there's always still God. Therefore, I will look to the Lord, he says. I will wait. That word means I will trust for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do you ever feel like you don't have a friend in the world? Do you ever feel like you're all alone? Do you ever feel like that even sometimes your own family doesn't understand what's going on in your life? In those times, there is one who understands. He knows your most inward thoughts, your most inward feelings. He knows how low life can bring us at times. And the Bible promises in those days, God will hear us. Listen to what the Bible says. In Proverbs chapter 18, it says, There is a friend who sticks closer than even a brother. A friend who is closer than even a family member. Listen to what this says in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15. Can a woman forget her nursing child? and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Those things that we can't even see ourselves. I can see the wall in front of me. I, through my peripheral vision, can see a little portion of the walls on both sides, but the wall behind me, I can't see at all. But the Lord, the Bible tells us, is our rear guard. 
He can see everything around us that we cannot even see for ourselves. He sticks closer than even a brother. If a mom should even forget her nursing child, the Lord comes up with the most uh, unexpected thing that could ever happen, a mom forgetting her nursing child. And yet the Bible says, surely they may forget, but God says, I will not forget you. Therefore, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. I will trust Him. My God will hear me. We sing an old song that goes like this. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. When you feel as if you have no other place to turn, when you feel like you're all alone and no one cares, remember, God cares, and we can hope in Him. He will hear our prayer. He will hear our cry, and He will care about what's going on in our lives. For those who follow Jesus, the best is yet to be. Father, thank You. Thank You for hearing us. Thank You for watching over us. Our walls are continually in your sight. Lord, you know everything around us more than we even know ourselves. You're able to do what we are not able to do. And so, Lord, I pray that someone today who feels all alone, who feels that no one cares, would just call out to you and through your Spirit, Lord, minister to those today. Thank you for your love for each and every one of us, no matter who we are, what we've done or where we've been. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for having a desire to have fellowship and relationship with us through your Son, Jesus Christ. And may someone call to Jesus to have their sins forgiven and to be saved today. And for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you, Father, for your grace, for your love, for your mercy. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I pray you have a great day in the Lord today.